Hey, welcome to the channel, you guys. Today we're going to talk about a newly released lure, the Z-Man Gobius. Uh, they released this at ICAST 2023, um, a few months back, okay, during the summer. And what I'm noticing is a lot of people, I think, are getting confused about this bait. Although they name it a swim bait. Um, you know, we're going to get into that in a minute. But if you guys have been watching me, for any period of time, you're going to know I fish the dark sleeper a lot. I smallmouth fish a lot on Lake St. Clair and surrounding inland bodies of water, always searching for a good smallie bite. And I just can't seem to get enough of the mega bass dark sleeper. We're going to get into that later in the video, but right now we're going to break down the, um, the Z-Man Gobius. So I've got this one here. Forgot the name of the color. This one, I believe, is hot. No, this one's perch. And then we have natural goby. Uh, I actually got a whole slew of them. I got a whole box of them. I think I spent like 50 bucks and uh, just bought a bunch. Because I don't know what the availability is going to be for these things um, as the springtime encroaches here. So a first look. The eyeballs are recessed pretty good. The line tie is in a good spot. It has really good color pattern. Now this Elastec, Elastec's been around a long time. The technology has been around a long time. Z-Man really took the ball and ran with it. And pretty much, if not everything they make is out of this Elastec. Here's a look at the belly. And again, the stretch. I mean, I'm stretching this thing probably close to six inches. Um, I, I'm sure it will tear if I really try to, but um, this Elastec is pretty amazing. So now if you go down, we're going to open up that and get a little better look at that hook. It's almost like one of them spear point hooks. You know, they, uh, they've got them kind of weird extra wide gap hooks that have that weird uh, configuration to them. As you can see, one thing I'm already noticing, and I'm not even fishing this thing, is with the Elastec, uh, it's sticking to that hook point quite a bit. So I'm getting I'm getting hangups here, right? Like this fin will get kind of pushed one way. Will that affect the swimming motion? Don't know. And honestly, you could probably you could probably get away because I don't fish this thing in grass, or actually the dark sleeper. I rarely fish it in grass. I'm usually um, you know, around rock, stuff like that. Um, really thin wire gauge hook on here. Um, but okay, so there you go. Look at it. the elastic stuck together and it's pushed to the one side of the fin. So, is that going to cause issues? If it does, you could simply just cut the top fins off this thing. I mean, I got them stuck together now and they won't pull apart. There they go. Okay, so, and then your tail, you have a really small tail. Okay, got to get right in there. You have a really small tail. And, um, not that that's a bad thing because you do get the stretch, but the tail is the actual boot to the tail. So let's compare it to the Dark Sleeper. The Dark Sleeper actually has a really large tail compared to the Z-Man Gobius. Um, so in my opinion, I mean, I'm going to start throwing these immediately on ice out for smallmouth out on Lake St. Clair. Immediate usage. I am going to probably start with the Natural Gobi and um, maybe try the Purge, but I bought a couple of each color. Packaging, I mean, it is what it is. There's really no good way to do these things. You know, it's it's in a cardboard wrapper, and then you get this little clamshelly type thing, but none of this is going to stick together. I mean, you're going to end up losing this. It's going to fly off the boat or the kayak. It's all kind of stapled together and gets tore up anyways. you got to come up with a good way to store these things. They do sit on their belly really nice, but if you're just to throw these in a tackle box, <clears throat> um, you know, you may bend up that tail a little bit where it gets a little hair lip or something like that, you know. Um, 
maybe you know uh, I think it's Plano has them they've got them frog boxes where you can hook them into the lion tie and just kind of hang them in there might be an option um, but just letting these sit in a tackle box will create a hair lift to that tail and it won't swim right so let's get into comparing the dark sleeper which is my favorite to the new Z-Man Gobius. Um, as you can see, the Dark Sleeper is a much larger profile. Try to hold these properly. The Dark Sleeper is quite a bit larger of a profile. Also, the Dark Sleeper has a thicker gauge hook. Um, and the Dark Sleeper is a legitimate swim bait. Like you're not they have goby patterns of these but you're not imitating a goby and i think that's what z-man's doing with this is that it's specifically to imitate a goby so hence the name gobius and but they label it on here super plastic structure swim bait now structure swim bait so that's all this is you're gonna fish this areas like you would fish a tube or something like that, where gobies are very popular, which like, you know, Lake Huron, Lake St. Clair, things like that, where gobies are being gorged upon by these smallmouth. And I've even caught walleye on these dark sleepers. Um, but with the dark sleeper, you swim it. I do hop it, I do drag it, but I believe this design was to be, just to be drug on the bottom, like a goby react. Right, that's how a goby makes his way around on the bottom of the lake. He just, or they just dart across, you know, and then they sit there and they kind of do this and they look around and then they do another dart. That's how you're going to want to present this. Now with the dark sleeper, I've always fished this thing and got the best results by swimming it. Hence that really nice mega bass boot tail there. I've always got the best results slowly swimming this. I'm not saying you're going to get bad results slowly swimming this, but I think this is more like a, almost like a swim bait jig. Like you're just going to kind of hop it over some rocks real slow, kind of hop it, which a, a lot of people will do with the dark sleeper. But I've always had my best luck letting this hit the bottom and then retrieving it back. Let's talk about where you can get them. Uh, you can pick these up at Omnia, omnia.com. Now, I will leave a link in the description for these baits, and uh, it'll take you right to their website. You can pick up some of these gobiuses, and I, I promise you, if you're a dark sleeper freak like I am, you're going to want to get your hands on these before they become hard to find, because that's what happens with everything. Once they get popular, once people start catching fish on them, they get difficult to find. And speaking of Omnia, I've been using the Omnia fishing app now uh, for this second half of the season. i got to tell you guys, it is a phenomenal app for you guys. To break down lakes um, whether it's spring summer fall winter even out on the ice this app gives you the capability to <clears throat> break a lake down from the palm of your hand we all got our cell phones right so you're able to take this app anywhere you go whether you're on the lake or not but you're able to take this app if you're on a lunch break or something you're going to go fish a lake after work you're able to look at it and what it does is it gives you the historical weed lines it gives you a breakdown of all the depth contours it gives you a bottom composition display all these different layers are on this app and you have to join the premium pro membership to unlock all the features but i'm going to tell you it is worth the 50 dollars a year because all these extra features have helped me catch fish i'm going to share a few clips with you guys some fish i caught while using the omnia app and sure you can have your live scope you can have your down scan side scan all that but to be able to pinpoint these locations you want to fish or spots you think might be good, you can sometimes cross them off using the app. But you can drop pins throughout a lake, visit these spots, and then use your electronics on your boat or kayak to dial it in and find out if what the app told you is there is actually there. And I have found it to be true 100% of the time. So check out the Omnia Fishing app, you guys, and be sure to sign up for the Pro because that's where you're going to unlock all the features. So as far as like durability, like you guys know the dark sleeper, the eyes fall out almost immediately. I'm rubbing my thumb over the eye of this thing. And that eyeball's hanging out there. I actually gave him a lazy eye. This one here is, you know, the way it's supposed to be.
I'll give him a lazy eye on this one. Rub some, of, rub some of the paint off. But the eyeballs appear to be intact and hanging out pretty good. It does have that belly keel weighted design. And I feel like, you know, with this Elastec, it's really going to go a long way because the one issue with the Dark Sleeper, even though it catches fish and it's expensive, man, they suck as far as um, durability. The, the four or five fish, you know, you lose your paint, they get chewed up pretty good, and uh, the eyeballs fall out. It doesn't always prevent you from catching fish, but it just seems like a brand new dark sleeper catches more fish than one that's been caught, you know, has caught three or four fish. And here's another look at the natural goby. I'm not going to rip them all out of this clamshell because I'm not going to be using these for another few months, but I feel like this is a really good product. And, uh, again, it just doesn't have, short of fishing it, I don't know how it's going to react in the water, but I just don't feel like it has that boot tail, right? Like the dark sleeper does. It creates that little bit of vibration down there while it's swimming across. While you're dragging it, it's got that tail kicking. I feel like this might do it, but I've fished a dark sleeper for quite a few years and uh, don't feel like that's where it's going to be. I think this is going to be more like something you would fish where you would fish a tube. You know, you're just going to kind of hop it. You're going to kind of drag it. But it has that natural goby look. I mean, it. this don't look like a goby. This does not look like a goby. This looks like a small bait fish. This is exactly what a goby looks like. Whether it's sitting up like that and you're kind of just holding it on the bottom or it's darting around, this looks like a goby. That's why they named it the gobius. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.